Imagine this. What would happen if you were bitten by a snake in the wilderness and there is no health facility nearby to rush to for treatment? Now, we came across a case of a child who was bitten by a snake in a remote area of Tiati constituency in Baringo County. But her life was saved because there was a health facility within a walking distance. If this facility could not be here, the child could be in danger. How is this related to devolution of health services in the country? Find out in this two-part series, Health in Devolution, that begins today. And we will be looking at the milestones so far, the challenges and the way forward. But first, the Cabinet Secretary for Health, Dr. Cleopas Milo, gives us an overview of the levels of health facilities in the country after devolution. Where the common money is, we have a dispensary. A dispensary is managed by a nurse. It has no inpatient facilities. It has no delivery facilities, in other words, bed capacity. But it's able to deal with the minor cases. If you come to the health center, that is where you'll find a clinical officer. There are beds for delivery, six beds in a del for delivery. And therefore, it has an, a bit of inpatient and providing a little bit more services, which are not found at the dispensary level. Then after the health center is when you will come to a sub-county hospital, which we used to call sub-district hospitals. And those have doctors. Some of them can be teaching institutions for internships and all that, or for KMTCs. And then the county referral hospital, which for some, they are huge hospitals. Those who inherited the former provincial general hospitals, but there are others who inherited the former district hospitals which are converted now to level five. Level six, of course, is Kenyatta National Hospital, uh, more teaching and referral hospital. We have Mathare, Mathare Hospital, which is a special hospital for mental illnesses. And we also have Spinal Injury Hospital. And those are having universities for teaching. Research does happen there. Uh, and uh, high-end or tertiary care. Under the devolved system of government, the Ministry of Health sets the policy, it sets the standards, quality of health care, and it is in charge of the regulatory framework to ensure that health workers and institutions, whether public or private, play by the rules. The county governments, on the other hand, are in charge of service delivery at the county level. Now we have got free primary health care. The government removed user fees for any Kenyan attending a health center and dispensary to be seen and treated. There's no fee required to be paid, user fee. Then we also introduce free maternity to allow mothers to deliver in any public institution, including Kenyatta National Hospital, for free. Where free services are expected is only in health centers and dispensaries. The national government has never fully funded the county referral hospitals. Now, I'm at Nakoko Dispensary in Tiati constituency, Baringo County, to find out if the existence of such a facility that was constructed two years ago has had any impact on the community. Here, we found a child who had just been treated for a snake bite. The nurse, Boniface Ambani, who is the only health worker here, tells us that snake bites are common in this area. If this facility could not be here, the baby, the, the child would be in danger. Because of that, traveling up to the district hospital, it is far away. So this facility being near, it has been, it is of great help to the community members. For the county executive committee member for health, this is a positive sign of the impact of the evolution of health services. People migrate and they run away from the health facility of insecurity. But so far, so good because people come closer to the, to the health facility. Imagine people can move the animals closer here so that they can access coordination. And so those are some of the positives and negatives also. Equally. In Tiati constituency before devolution three years ago, 
there were only two government health facilities and three non-governmental. Now there are 13 county health facilities and seven sponsored by religious organizations. Initially we had 1,084 staff, but we have added 155 new staff. In the neighboring Baringo South constituency, there was an incident recently in Mukutani Ward whereby 52 people were hospitalized after consuming an inspected meat. All of them survived thanks to gifted hands of a single nurse at the newly established local dispensary. Hivey fluid was being hanged on branches of trees and that, that is acceptable here because what the people feel is that they should be treated under their sheets because the temperatures in the rooms are unbecoming. They are very extremely hot. They go up to around 45 during the day. Still in Baringo County, we move to the county's referral hospital, which has undergone a major facelift following many years of neglect. If you talk about this maternity, the numbers are increasing progressively uh, over time. If you compare between 2012-13 and now, uh, initially we used to do about 130-140 deliveries per month, but uh, over time we're doing up, up to 200 deliveries uh, per month. Kila kitu ni sawa but problem penye nezaona kwa nini tukikuja madawa tuseme kama watu wakubwa atuwezi pata unaambiwa uende kama ni private for example kama ya typhoid was party but ya, ya mtoto nikikuja huwa napata sometimes you may not have all the drugs that you require uh, but that is a, a work in progress we are working in collaboration with the county government to ensure that, apart from the essential drug list, we also have other special drugs. In Bungoma County, one of the milestones in the devolution of health services is the establishment of this pediatrics hospital. It is part of the Bungoma Referral Hospital. The change is that there is space, we have enough beds, we have enough doctors, Consultant, we all have doctors 24 hours. Tulikuwa tumefinyiwa sana. Unaweza kukaa na mtoto kwa laini kuanzia asubuhi hadi jioni ujapata matibabu. Lakini change yenye nimeona saa hizi ni kubwa. The laboratory at the referral hospital has received the certification of the International Organization for Certification ISO. Initially we are, we, we are limited, we had limited resources and we were not able to do many tests. But with the devolution, we were able to increase our test scope. We were able to add more tests that our patients used to go to private hospitals, they used to come to Eldoret for those tests to be done. In Bungoma County too, the staff are overstretched the current 1,600 health workers are not enough, according to the county executive committee member for health. We inherited 1,600 members of staff, out of which we have had, we have had uh, some exits. And um, we have just maintained that number by, by, by replacing uh, those who have exited. The reason we have not increased is because our budgetary allocation cannot allow. Before devolution and now, uh, a number of things have changed. One is that we have acquired new machines through MS. Two is that these machines have helped us to reduce a patient's waiting time. Three is that we improved the quality of our services. In Bomet County, let's begin with views about service delivery in the health sector after devolution. Sioni mabadiliko kabisa kwa sababu sahi bado tumepata shida mingi kwa sababu ukienda ukipeleka mtoto kwa hospitali, kitu tu yenye unapata ni banadol. E, imekuwa karibu na wananchi. Hata kuna mahospitali ambazo simeansiswa kwa e, vijiji. The service is worse than before. Mkonjo alikuwa anakucha na maji yake. Na hiyo maji tena ilikuwa mbaya kwa sababu unaleta kwa mtoni. Hiyo si mzuri. Lakini sahi maji mingi, dawa iko mingi. Wako busy. We 
we sought to find out what exactly has changed at the county's main hospital. Uh, in 2013, uh, this hospital did not have uh, enough beds. It's a 144 bed hospital, but there was a shortage of beds. Uh, so what, uh, what has happened over time is the improvement in the number of beds. Up to now, we have uh, more or less enough beds, a few shortages here and there. Now we manufacture our own oxygen and it is piped to all the clinical areas. All the wards have now piped oxygen. We have about uh, 21 patients on regular dialysis and about 9 to 10 patients on emergency dialysis at any given time. At this hospital, despite a notable increase in the number of health workers since the inception of devolution, the staff are overstretched. We have machines, but we don't have enough staff. The health facilities that uh, we found were 90. We've increased them to 129. So from the counties featured so far, it is clear that understaffing is a big challenge that could reverse the gains in devolved health services if not addressed. We need a health services commission, which is a standardized structure to manage healthcare, and then we need increased budgetary allocation for healthcare. Just two things. Those teething problems we are overcoming. But you, the problem is not over yet because there are promotions, people are claiming, career progression, there is um, people going for training and um, this movement between counties to other counties of health professionals, we haven't gotten it right, but there's improvement which is coming. Several workers have actually fled the, 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 the counties and even the national government in total I can, doctors only, we have lost 2,000 doctors. Now, the numbers are not adequate too. There are counties which have very few health personnel. They advertise they are not able to attract health personnel. And that is a problem we have to look at. We take a short break. When we return, we will bring you more from other counties right after the break. Welcome back. In this show, you are watching what we found out when we visited various counties, various hospitals, to find out the impact of devolution of health services. From Baringo to Bomet, from Bungoma to Marsabit, Tana River to Nyeri, to name a few. This is the Chamwada Report. We begin with Vihiga County in this second leg of the show, a county in western Kenya with a population of about 550,000 people, according to the 2009 National Census, one of the most densely populated counties in the country. At the county's referral hospital, based at Mbale Town, we found works going on in readiness for the installation of specialized equipment under the national government support program that is known as the Managed Equipment Scheme. We have a state-of-the-art machine that we had bought as a county government. At the same time, the new X-ray machines, it is an extensive X-ray machine. So when you look at in that diagnostic areas, we've improved a great deal as far as the county government is concerned. In Vihiga County, there are about 640 health workers on the payroll. At the time of devolution, the national government had not handed over the payroll to the county government. So it was very hard for us to adjust the payroll to the county government. There were so many challenges whereby you'll find somebody is working in Vihiga County but is earning on the payroll of Kakamega County. Somebody is working in Kakamega County or Kisumu County but he's earning on the payroll of Vihiga County. So we had so many hitches here and there. But at the moment, we've uh, worked together as a team with other counties to make sure that we clean up the payroll. As far as we are concerned in Vihiga County, the payroll is up to date. We have just started a radiology department which has never been there before. Uh, what we are still lacking is maybe a radiographer. The machines are already installed. This one is going to, to help re retain our patients that require such services within, not uh, for referrals. Still in Vihiga, 
like in other counties, there are mixed views about the quality of health services. I'm a resident here at Viga County, but services in at Mbale County Referral Hospital, Bado Zikochini. Because most of the time, Mbura Nakua referred, then referral, Ama Ende Nyunyanza Kisumu, Napata Madawa Sazina Aziko. Kitambu tukua tunakuja, hapa tunakao, na zaka karibu kwa masama wili matatu, kama umekaa, kama uudumiwi. Na hivyo kienda kuhudumiwa, nakuambia yenda nunuwa madawa, na kwa saizi ukikuja, ukihudumiwa, unapata madawa, hiko. The services have been taken closer to the Wananchi. The only, the, the most, uh, and maybe the, the biggest challenge is the delivery of the services. We have the facilities, but they are not well equipped. The only challenge that we have at the county at the moment is the inadequate funding to the health sector. If there is improved funding to the county government from the national treasury, and then the county would give the health department a larger percentage of the county budget, then we shall be home and dry. In the last financial year, 20% of the county budget went to health. But when you look at that 20% of the county budget, 80% of that departmental budget, health department, goes to salaries. From the Higa, we cross borders to Kajado County. Actually, for us in Kajado, devolution um, is a blessing. The devolved functions have really uh, brought a, a change in the lives of, of Wanainchi. When we came in as a government, we had issues of access to healthcare. Uh, the facilities that were constructed 20, 30 years ago are the only facilities still operating despite an increase in the population. And we'd have uh, you know, women and children and men even walking very long distances uh, you know, in very difficult terrain to access healthcare. For now, up to almost 72 uh, facilities are being um, renovated. We have new ones, uh, like now we are speaking about maybe almost 30 coming up. This is a new dispensary in Kajado East. For locals, distance to a health facility has been reduced. Kutoka matibabu ya kuje, mazuri juu watu walikuwa na peseka sana. Mtu walikuwa na hata kagonjeka na kupeleko hospitali ilikuwa mbali sana. Kwa hivyo sasa ni nzuri juu mtu wakikonjeka saa hii, usiku, anaweza kapeleko wa tu direct hapa ni karibu. Na matibabu yake ni nzuri, dawa ziko, kila kitu ziko. The way we approach our development in Kajiado, it's people driven. We do not sit as an executive and say uh, we are putting up a hospital here. Citizen participation in every ward uh, in the county. In Kitengela, this sub-county hospital is undergoing improvements to step up specialized treatment to reduce pressure on the county's referral hospital according to the CEC in charge of health. We have our main hospital, it's not yet a level 5 because after de from devolution we did not have any level 5. So it was a level 4. Now with everything we are doing in it, we hope that it will go to level 5 where it's able to actually offer everything. Then we have a hospital like this one which is uh, a level 4. Um, there are two of them. Um, and then we have the health centers um, which are level 3 and then we have now the dispensaries. Madaktari wanakaa na hata manase sini wachache, kazi ni nyingi. Na upande wa mana hapa, ngeomba kama wanaisaidia upande wa neti, mashiti, tunaona ikiwa chache, lakini upande wa matibabu iko sawa zaidi. In Kisumu County, whose population was about 969,000 in 2009, there were about 69 doctors before devolution. Now there are 108 doctors. We've been able to create a strong dialogue system with our health workers, especially with their, their unions. First of all, we had to we cleaned up our payroll so that we know exactly who are ours. And then we were able to now uh, make sure that one of the issues that was of concern to them was uh, their, their, their promotions. That is something that we, we have managed now to um, settle with them. We also settled uh, their, 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 their salaries, you know, making sure that their salaries uh, were coming on time. And uh, with the county government, at least we've been able to make sure that at no time have they missed uh, their salaries. Kisumu receives many referrals from neighboring counties 
due to what officials here say are better specialized services at the county's referral hospital as compared to what is found in some of the neighboring counties. Number county of Higa, to say the Pungu Zimbundo, Ngao Hapane, Pazuri Sana. Three years ago, would do strugglingly. We'll struggle to do about 14, 14, 15 operations. We go to 25 now on a heavy day, but on the average, we are on 18 uh, patients, a minimum of 18 to 20 patients in a day. But we go 25 patients, so that you see the increase has been about seven more cases done in a day. Megascope was the supplier. I think uh, they supplied, uh, renovated this theater. And they supplied, as you can see, we're starting from the machine, the mind ray machine, uh, the monitors that have come with it. This bed has been brought by mind ray and the operating lights, aircon, so, and the renovation. Sai naona mabadiliko ziko at least, dawa zineza patikana. Ni vile machine sazunu nambiwa zimearibika. Kama ya x-ray niliambiwa mearibika this week on Wednesday. Kambiwa niende nifanya x-ray inji. The doctors' union maintains that only a legal framework that will harmonize the management of health workers in the country will provide the solution. Nearly all healthcare workers um, were employed by the Public Service Commission. They signed employment contracts with the Public Service Commission. And then the evolution came. These workers were not given any new terms. They were not um, handed over. They were not told, now your employer has changed. They didn't sign any new papers. The county does not know when they employed you. The county, was, they were never given files then, in terms of when was this worker employed, who, who trained this worker, what are the qualifications of this worker, when are they due for the next promotion, which training should we expose this worker to, what work can this worker handle. So that was never done. And that is why there has been a lot of problems in the last three years. Because healthcare workers want promotions, Counties did not have those files until August of last year. And even right now that counties have those files, they do not have the competence to interpret those files. It is expected that the health bill that is already in Parliament will lead to better management of the health sector. We are looking at a bill which will give us the framework to be able to provide an harmonized way, the way we govern um, uh, the health sector in the country. We are looking at that bill to be able to help us to interpret the content of the Constitution, the intent of the Constitution, to bring it into the law so that we can now begin to operationalize that. Without that bill, we are in an environment where we are doing things differently, but we are using the old laws which existed. On that note, we come to the end of the show, but not the end of the discussion. We will continue with the topic, health in devolution next week. We have more from other counties. Before devolution, they used to receive drugs worth 100 million only. After devolution, we purchased drugs worth about 450 million per year. So we pay KEMSA on a quarterly basis. The volumes that the counties are taking from KEMSA under devolution is 40 to 50% more compared to a similar period before the devolved healthcare system. So make a date with us, same time, same channel. And on behalf of the crew, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.